Hello there and welcome to The Jess Tales. Pour yourself a drink, a coffee, a soda. Just figured we can do a little sit down chat. This is my third monthly reset. So I am doing these every single month. This is the halfway mark for the entire year, which is insane. We're halfway through the year. These reset videos have five chapters to them. Part one is what I did not like about the previous month. Part two is what I did like about the previous month. Part three are my business goals, so goals for the Jess Tales. Part four are personal goals. And part five are my favorite items from the previous month. Let's get right into it. I don't want to waste any time. I am so excited for July, but also it's a healthy reminder of just how far I have to go with my own personal goals and the goals that I made for the entire year of 2023. I have decided to challenge myself to something very different and I kind of had a come to Jesus moment for the month of June because we traveled so much between May and June which I am so thankful for. We feel so blessed to have been able to travel where we did. We went to Scotland for 10 days in May and then we went to Hawaii. We went to Maui for 10 days in June and we were only home for like one and a half two weeks between so it felt like ever since mid-May we have not been on a schedule I have not been eating the way that I like to eat and I've just been like very lax which is totally fine but that was like my summer vacation if that makes sense I also got the flu when we got back and between the two I hurt my lower back and so I was unable to do any physical activity for about a week between the two trips so it's just been a really off couple of months so I'm really glad that I'm doing these reset videos because they help me stay on top of my goals see where I want to improve I am going to try my best for the next six months because the reality is and I talked about this in my May reset feel free to watch that if you want to kind of hear my come to Jesus moment I had with myself then which is why I started doing these monthly resets in the first place but I have not been trying my best and I had a good intentions in the month of May to start trying my best, but it just happened that traveling May and June kind of nixed a lot of my good habits and I wanna get back into that. I really want to give it my all for the next six months and just see how far I go if I give it my all just for six months. I am going to be making index cards, just daily motivation and weekly motivation for myself because I'm the kind of person to set great big goals and like try to do all of these great habits every single day and then when i fall off of that which you're bound to fall off of those new habits a little bit when i do i'm really hard on myself and my mantra which i'm trying to unlearn is i always start things strong i always get very excited but i always fall off the wagon and I can't stick to things. So I'm really trying to change my mindset for the next six months. Okay, so let's get started with the July reset video. Some things that I did not like about June. I still have no morning routine. It just makes a world of difference, especially on the weekdays when I am out of bed before 7 a.m. to give myself more time to not have to be somewhere, to not have to look at my computer, just to have that time back for myself is so important for my mental health, so I need to get a morning routine. I did not meet like any of my goals for the month of June, which is kind of upsetting. I'm not letting myself get down about it, but I did not like that. I got the flu and I had a fever for five days straight. I was on the couch, could not move. Fevers knock you out and I have never had the flu before so that was a new experience so I am still recovering but I am like 99.9% .9 good. I did not pay attention to my hormones the entire month of June. I use the Mira Max wands almost every single day or I used to. I need to keep tracking because I'm still trying to get a more regular cycle and I need to shorten my cycles so I really need to pay more attention to my hormones. I did not do a good job of keeping track of that for the month of June. My activity level in June was zero. Zero. I did not work out. I hardly went on walks. I did not stretch for my splits I've been trying to get. 
I just gave up on my body and I did not like that. I literally just barely existed. <laughs> I feel like June and May were just kind of partly a wash because of all the travels and then getting sick and then hurting my back. It's just been a rough few months. So I, I feel like I just kind of coasted through life for the last two months and I'm kind of over it. What I did like about June Obviously the travel, I loved Maui. It was the trip of a lifetime. We are so, so happy that we got to go. Feel so blessed to be able to experience all of these things so young and so early on in our life before we settle down to have kids. And it's just been a great few months traveling. And even though being out of the routine has sucked, that's life. And I've really had a great time. I talked about this in my June reset, but I finished organizing every single room in my house. I have one more room and that is the closet under our stairs and then our garage, but that's a whole nother topic. So every single thing in my house has a home, it has a place, and it has taken me three years of living in this house to get to that point. And I feel like I'm in control of my life again when everything has a home. And then kind of on the same topic, I deep cleaned the house in June after traveling a lot, after having the flu, after being injured, not being able to like move. My house has not been cleaned properly how I like it to be cleaned in a very long time. So after I recovered from the flu, the first thing I did was deep cleaned. I dusted my walls in every single room. I cleaned the top of my kitchen cabinets. I dusted every surface in the entire house and it feels so good to have my house back. I also bought air purifiers from Target, especially if you're on the East Coast, obviously California, you know as well. All the wildfires, our air quality hasn't been as great here lately. So it just helps a lot knowing that my interior air is clean. I am pretty proud of myself because I did practice a lot of piano while I was home and not traveling. And that was a goal I had for the past few months. So I'm happy with that. And I relax, honestly, as much as not having a routine bothered me the past few months. I'm really thankful because it allowed me to relax. I feel energized now that I've had like two months off of my life. Okay, my July goals, and these are my business goals. I want to get back into daily YouTube editing before the workday. I was so good about this last year and I'm trying to get back into that habit. This is why I need a morning routine so I can edit just for 10 to 15 minutes is my goal. And I always end up editing more than that, but having that small goal to always meet keeps me motivated, but more importantly, it keeps me on time at scheduling my videos. My second business goal is to upload more daily vlogs. I love watching other people's daily lives, just the mundane routine. So because I love taking in that content, I also love creating that content. I love to edit that content and I love posting it. I'm not going to say that I have to post every single day, it is a good goal to reach for, but some days if I just do not feel like it, I'm not gonna force it, but I do want to upload more daily vlog content. My third goal is to post my Hawaii content. I'm really excited about my Hawaii content. I think it's going to be very entertaining to watch. My Scotland videos were more like vlog style and that's because the people that we traveled with i created the videos for them as well to have for their memories but hawaii was not like that it was more highlight level and i kind of like those videos better so i'm excited to edit that and get that content posted and my last business goal is to film and edit and publish one joint vlog for our joint youtube channel i unveiled this in my last reset for June, but my husband and I created a new channel and it's for the both of us because we want to start doing more joint content. Onto my personal goals for July, my first one is to finish Fur Elise by Beethoven on the piano. This has been a goal for over a year. I am on the last page of the music. It's four pages of music in the book that I have. So I just have a one more page to learn and I'm so close, I can taste it. I am rewarding myself. If and when I finish Fear Elise, I'm letting myself buy and invest in a nicer keyboard. There's keyboards that have more weighted keys that feel like a real piano and also sound like a real piano. And I think that's really important if you're serious about piano. The keyboard I have right now is a Yamaha. It's a very nice one, but the sound is kind of off on one side. I think it's broken. 
and it does not feel anything like a real piano so the problem is when i get to a real piano i can't play because it feels and sounds so different that i can't like i can't pick up where i left off on a real piano so that's my reward that's my motivation to finish fear elise i have an app on my phone called habit tracker so my next goal is to use that app again i used it for almost the entire year in 2022 and i love this app i'm going to put all my new habits in there for the month of july and it's going to be part of my giving it my all the next six months movement my daily habits are going to be to meditate every day work out every day it doesn't have to be a strength training workout but does have to be movement of some kind like even just going on a walk stretching practicing piano i'm also learning spanish in my duolingo app so practicing spanish drinking at least a half a gallon of water a day and editing youtube content every day as well my next goal is to establish and keep up with the morning routine the past few days i have been getting up earlier but but I want to stick to a true morning routine. Next is meditation in all caps because this is month three of it being a goal and I have yet to meditate one time. So I'm making it a daily practice. I'm gonna start off with five or 10 minutes. My goal is to meditate 20 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes at night, but I know that I have to work slowly to get to that point in my mind. So if I can just do 10 minutes in the morning and try to do it at night, I'll be happy with that. My next goal is to keep the house organized and clean. And now that I've gotten back to where I need to be, everything is deep cleaned, I feel like I'm starting fresh, everything has a home, I wanna keep it that way. My biggest problem is doing laundry and then keeping things on the drying rack for the entire week. And I'm just trying to get better at touching things one time. So when you pick something up to take it to a new room, like put it back where it goes, if your goal is to touch everything just once, it will usually end up where it needs to go. And it's just so much easier. Things don't get out of control clutter-wise. Okay, this next goal I haven't shared with my husband yet, but we are not going to buy any Starbucks, which Starbucks isn't an issue. I haven't gone to Starbucks in months, but I went this past week and I loved it and I don't want to get back in the habit of buying Starbucks. So I want to go ahead and stop while I'm ahead. And my second goal is not buying any food for takeout or fast food. So if we go to a restaurant or we go out to eat, that's okay. We rarely do that anyways, but no more Chick-fil-A. I have a free breakfast and once I use that, I'm not going to buy any more. No more takeout food when I'm lazy and don't want to make dinner. That's going to force me to plan my meals and stick to a menu every week and eat healthier. And my last goal is fun. I'm very excited about this one and it is to get a facial because I have been wanting to get facials for years and I have yet to do one. I scheduled one in January of 2022 and I canceled it because I didn't wanna spend the money and I did the same thing in January, 2023. So my mom went and got her first ever facial and said she loved it. And because she is the kind of person to not do things like that for herself i think i take on that a lot as well i don't like to pay for services i've never had a massage and i've never gotten a facial but i think it's a very important piece of self-care also if i'm budgeting for a facial i'm less likely to spend any money on clothes or accessories or makeup and i would rather spend the money on facials and skincare than makeup anyways i'm super excited about that one Okay, my favorite items from the month of June. Number one are the Lululemon Fast and Free shorts. These used to be called the Find Your Pace shorts, but they updated them and I'm obsessed with them. I did a video a year ago and I will link it up here and in the description box below, but it is my Lululemon shorts haul because I got one of every single short and tried all of them on except for a few and did a whole video about it, but mainly so that I could learn which shorts I liked the best. And the Find Your Pace were my favorite last year, but I like them even more now. I have these shorts in navy, pink, red, yellow, and black. I have five pair already, and I've gotten all of them except one from Mercari. My favorite place to buy anything Lululemon is Mercari because most of it you can find brand new with tags at a discounted price. I wear a pair at least two to three times a week. It's like my daily wardrobe now. My second favorite item from the month of June are my base luggage. 
base or base I'm not quite sure how to say it but my husband surprised me last month with the carry-on and it was such a lifesaver if you're like me I don't like to check bags me and my husband we're very much carry-on people and this carry-on is so great because you have so many pockets on the inside of it for so much more space it makes traveling and organizing all of your luggage so much easier. I also love the Weekender, but specifically the Mini Weekender is great for airplane travel because it can fit under your seat as a personal item, at least on American Airlines. I've only flown American with the Mini Weekender, but it is incredible. I stuff all my heavy stuff or my shoes on the bottom compartment, and then I still have plenty of room on the top. My laptop fits in it, and they're just insane quality especially the carry-on the rolling is so easy through the airport it has a memory foam handle on it so your hand doesn't get fatigued which is like so bougie but i love the luggage another favorite is the airy pool to party collection i've worn the crap out of all of my pool to party stuff i have three of the tops i have two of the pool to party pants and i have a pool to party short sleeve and i just ordered a pair of these shorts and another one of the tops they're just the easiest thing to throw over like bike shorts and a sports bra but it's just such breathable fabric i highly recommend that and they are doing their end of season sale right now so it is a good time to pick up those pieces the last item on my favorites list is the dime wonder screen i love the sunscreen because it's not greasy it does not break me out I also like it because it is a mineral sunscreen, it's not a chemical sunscreen. It's also reef safe, so I was able to take it with me in Hawaii and wear it every day and did not feel bad about getting in the ocean with it. I've been switching a lot of my skincare over to Dime Beauty because they are clean and most of their things are pregnancy safe. I'm not trying to get pregnant, but I have this thought in my mind that if something is not safe for pregnant women, I don't want to use it even if I'm not pregnant, if that makes sense. So I love Dime Beauty's Wonder Screen. So that wraps up my July reset. As always, I got my July wallpaper from theeverygirl.com. I will link them down in the description box as well. I really hope that this video helps motivate and inspire you to take note of the things that you want to change and take action to change them every single month. Something I'm trying to remind myself is that the small habits every day are what really matter. I always feel like if it's not a huge step or a huge action, it doesn't matter and it's not worth my time. And that is the biggest lie. I'm trying to change that thought in my brain and focus on those small habits and small goals that add up to big change over time. So I hope that this also inspires you to do the same. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and tick that notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you wanna see more content like this. And I will see you next week for my next video and I'll also see you next month for my August reset.